The doctor knew that my dad had AIDS, so he decided just to check and see what was up with me, as he put it. Well, I bet you can guess what was up with me. And while you're at it, guess how I dealt with what was the biggest zit I've ever gotten in my entire life. After that, pimples just really didn't seem to matter anymore. And they seemed to appear a lot smaller and fade away a lot quicker. How did I deal with that? Shall we say, not very well. I mean, what do you expect? Here I am going through this wonderful time in my life. I was experiencing things I never felt before. It was magnificent, fun, and mysterious all at once. I had chemicals and hormones racing through my body, preparing it for... For what? For death? I mean, what is this all about anyway? And why is this happening to me? So far, everything in my life had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And when I was a little girl, all of my stories ended with, and they lived happily ever after. What did I get? Ever after, ripped out of and torn to pieces. Happily, not even a possibility. And lived? Well, not for long, apparently. All of my dreams went swiftly down the drain. It was like it was the end before the beginning. And I kept saying that to myself, it's the end before the beginning. When you're my age and all this is happening to you, suddenly just you're getting ready to break free and start your own life. And something happens to change that completely. My best dream was to become a dancer. And maybe even being on Broadway. And eventually, becoming a choreographer. That was the one thing that with all of my awkward parts and this parasite living just beneath my skin, that could happen. Imagine me as a dancer. Well, I know I was a little twisted up, so I guess I would have played the part of Quasimodo, but could that even happen? My granddaddy and I would watch The Hunchback of Notre Dame on a tiny little six-inch TV screen. And we would crunch Ritz crackers with cheese whiz all the way through it while drinking ice-cold root beer sodas. Now that I think about it, I'm not all that certain that his beer was root beer, but that movie was our favorite. Every time one of us were thirsty, we would look at each other like the hunchbacks in the movie and say, Water. It didn't matter where we were, we would get the strangest looks. Then, before I could get used to the notion of being an even bigger freak than before, the doctor told me that my viral load, that's the amount of HIV 